My name's Hugh Syme, uh, art director, illustrator, designer. Having been, as Neil so aptly put it, uh, serving a life sentence as the art director for a rush, Permanent Waves was in an era when I was given a huge amount of freedom. The band was sort of in their early stages and was looking to me for the uh, what I call eye candy. You know, when we had our first meeting, I, I realized that waves could mean so many things. It could mean Permanent Waves is something that women in the 50s would do at home with these products called Tony Home Permanent Wave products. So I, I knew immediately that I'd like to have a, sort of a Donna Reed character uh, walking away from a tidal wave. You know, so punning, you know, visual punning was, was in its early stages with the band. When I first mentioned a girl walking out of a tidal wave, I almost expected the band to say, well, we'll get in touch, leave your name with the girl at the front door and we'll call you. you know? It wasn't a, a particularly positive response, but a few days later, Getty called me and said, you know that idea about, you know, we like that, let's do that. Then I freaked because I had to figure out how to do it. <laughs> When I discovered that Flip Schulke, who was a Time Life photographer, had photographed the Galveston hurricane, I decided I would just phone him. I told him about my interest in a few of the images that he had shot, and he told me how he used to strap himself to telephone poles and wait for the bad weather to hit. From that, I built the rest of the image, and we shot Paula Turnbull in the studio who was the girl with the permanent Tony hairdo, and the idea that sometimes the permanent wave of politics isn't always what you expect it to be, so we took the Chicago Daily Tribune headline of Dewey defeats Truman, when in fact that didn't happen. So we had some fun with the irony and whimsy of those moments, and of course I put an idiot in the background literally waving towards the scene in the foreground. It was all very analog in those days. Even the, the compilation of the imagery was not Photoshop or digital. It was done where we would actually have emulsion strippers cut the negative and cut Paula out and remove the background from behind Paula and place her back into the negative. We would have the character in the background who is waving. They would cut out that person and then remove the background and place that person back in. I think what we are doing at the time that a, a record cruises through our life has a lot to do with how we respond. It really isn't until later that you really have a, a more evolved and more established sense of whether a cover has been successful or not whether it's moving pictures or permanent waves, time will tell. And in, in those cases, I think they've endured the test of time. And I also think they took on more meaning for everybody, including me, you know, as time progressed. Each one's life. Uh...